Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video finishing off exactly where we left off yesterday. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump right into it and get this wheat seeded so that way we can try and have as much of this done as quick as possible. Um, I'm hoping fingers crossed hoping that we can uh, get both of these fields planted today um, it shouldn't take very long they aren't very big um, the only th real thing that these fields have going for them is the length uh, they are a decent decently long field uh, both of these are I guess so um, we're not really gonna have a whole lot for passes because they aren't super wide but they are fairly long so our passes are just going to take a little longer but we should be able to hopefully get everything done that I want to get done in this video and that is planting both of these fields that is my goal for today is to get them both planted um, so that way our planting is done and over with uh, for wheat anyways and then we'll be able to do some spraying tomorrow and uh, then we'll get back to planting to plant our soybeans and our sunflowers and then we'll get into some hay making as I was talking about yesterday you've got a lot of videos of uh, just cutting hay before it actually gets into raking or baling or hauling or stacking bales even for that matter because I do plan on you know we'll use the auto stacker to get the bales to the farm and then uh, once we unload the auto stack I'll probably be um, stacking the bales so we'll probably have one of our track loader tractors sitting at the farm so that way once we unload a load of bales we can just go ahead and stack it right away um, just that way our all of our bales will fit in the hay shed and all of that and uh, just so everything's sitting nice and evenly or nicely and evenly make them all just be a little bit better um, I have been thinking may just pick up a bale spike um, in addition to having the grapple forks because um, a bale spike will make it easier to stack the bales I would think I mean the grapple bucket might work okay I'm not too sure yet uh, we'll kinda have to see how that works out I guess come when that time comes um, you know, when it comes time to stack I guess we'll try it with uh, grapple bucket and see how it goes and if it isn't going to work out too well then we'll go ahead and uh, see if we can't pick up a grapple fork or not a grapple fork a bale spear see if we can't pick up a bale spear and uh, just run with that so that way we can get that done we're still doing pretty good on seed we should have enough seed and fertilizer in this planter to hopefully finish planting our wheat and then we'll probably run this back to the farm uh, get everything filled up on it and then probably uh, run this and the pickup might uh, see if I can get the pickup on follow me mod and we'll run this up to uh, our fields that are gonna have soybeans and sunflowers in them and uh, see if or and take this out there and park it and then we'll just drive the pickup back so we're already almost done with this field like I said it doesn't take very long and we're only five minutes in so we might even get to start spraying in this video Fingers crossed. The more work that we can get knocked out in an episode, the better. 
closer we are to harvest and closer we are to putting up hay I guess too uh, I do like haying I mean I've done that a lot in real life so in the game I always enjoy doing that as well so the goal for this video is have this field planted have that field planted next to us get this taken to the farm get it filled up um, and then throw the pickup on follow me mod or on follow me and um, take this tractor up to our um, bean and sunflower fields and um, then we'll drive the pickup back to the farm and then we'll probably get our sprayer moved over to uh, one of the wheat fields um, hoping we should have enough time to do all that that's the uh, goal for today to try and get done See, I missed a tiny spot back there, but that's all right. I'm not worried about that spot. <clears throat> not at all. Just lift this up and uh, just pop on over here to this field and drop her back down and keep rolling. I think these fields are actually about the same size. This one might be just a little bit narrower. It seems. <sighs> yeah, uh, no, they might actually be exactly the same. I'm not too sure. That's another decent sized fields for our setup. And hopefully, we get. Uh, Decent amount of straw bales off of this map, or not this map, off of this area, off of our wheat, uh, our wheat fields. I'm hoping that we can get a decent amount of straw. Otherwise, we may end up buying straw this winter if it comes down to it. But I'm hoping to uh, avoid that. So something I did want to look at is the lands. Um, almost seemed to me. Oops. No, maybe not. Okay. Um, I thought maybe you could buy like the roads. What did I just do here? What the fuck did I just do? Poker G. I don't want you to be hired. 
Honey, and why aren't you dismissing? Why aren't you dismissing? I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want you doing this. Dismiss. 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 No, I don't want you doing this. going to irritate me now and now it's giving me an error and all that fun stuff because this thing is not supposed to hire workers come on dismiss 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 there's gotta be a way I can dismiss this thing Okay, well, I guess that this guy is just going to take over because I cannot get it to stop. I really need to remember that button. Well, I guess while he's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and pack my old Dipski. Hopefully we have enough seed and fertilizer in this to uh, finish this field. That's irritating. It's even more irritating that this tractor does not work with hired workers. So if you hire one, it messes with things. Another reason too why I, um, I'm trying to get ahead on videos is uh, I do plan on getting my computer screen fixed soon. Um, so yesterday being Tuesday, um, I had filed for my taxes so when I get those back I do plan on uh, seeing if I can get my computer screen fixed. So that way I don't have to worry about using a TV like I am now. It'll be a whole lot easier to have my screen back. So. Yeah, I still can't dismiss him. Oh, that's annoying. Uh -huh. I did also pick up some new mods. Uh, something that I want to look at using in the future. We got this Hagee sprayer. So when we uh, upgrade our setup to where we're using a big sprayer like that, I definitely want to pick that guy up. Um, oops. So let's just go over here. I'll show you guys the attachment that I was talking about yesterday uh, for our skid loader. Um, let's see if I can find it here. I know I got it. I just got to find where it's at. Right here. So we got the skid steer bumper hitch. So this just hooks onto the skid steer and then you got uh hitch for hooking onto your trailers and stuff. So that'll be a lot easier. Um, another thing I was looking at. So we do have this dump trailer. Um, I was thinking, so this holds 15,000 liters. Okay, so that makes no difference. So 
So I was thinking, instead of using the cane trailer, we could use this dump trailer for our pig food. But um, you guys let me know what you think on that. Should we trade in the cane trailer for the dump trailer to feed our pigs? Or should we just use the cane trailer? You guys let me know what you think on that. And I also, I have a couple new discs. Um, we got uh, this 55, International 55 Chisel Plow. Now, it's not as big as our current setup, our Pro Till. It's actually 4 meters smaller, but it does kind of fit in a little bit more. And then we got this 2623 30-foot disc. Um, might be something we upgrade to in the future. Again, it's not as big as our current setup, but it would be a little more fitting. Then we got the 2730. For whatever reason in the store it spawns in the ground. Not sure why. But uh, we do have that 2730 ripper as well. So he should only have one more pass hopefully. One more pass for sure, possibly two. And we should have just enough seed and fertilizer for that. There we go. Sorry about that, I had a stem. Big old stem in there that was bugging me. That's much better now that it's gone. Alright, this guy should be done now. Hopefully he dismisses himself. Maybe not. Why are you not dismissing? You are done. You are done. Go away. You are done, my guy. No, do not plant that corner. Oh, man, come on. That's a waste. That corner is just going to be empty anyways. done. I'm not sure what he's doing. If he's going up to clean up these corners that I didn't want to clean up <laughs> or what. It seems that way so far.
Come on, what are you doing here? We're not trying to plant that field because you can't. Okay, well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the recording and I'm going to um, exit out of the game and reload it so that way he's not a hired worker and come back and we'll get the rest of the stuff taken care of that I want to get done. And then I'll just edit the two clips together. So we'll be right back, guys. Okay, and we're back. Now we can go ahead and get this planter lifted up and folded up. And I'll go ahead and get it on back to the farm. Now that our wheat is all planted. Didn't use as much seed as I thought we would, which is good. I was thinking that we would have ran out before we finished. I got a lot done in uh, one game day. A whole lot done. And then we got all of our teal, our all of our fields spread with lime. We got them all tilled. We got our wheat planted. Not a bad day's work, if I do say so myself. Fertilizer and seed. Because that's going to take a while just to get everything, you know, get the pickup started, get it 
line to uh, get follow me going and follow me set up correctly and then get it on the road so we'll just run this up there and then we'll go ahead and uh, we should have enough time to quick yeah we still got five minutes so we'll have enough time to fast forward to the next day and uh, or two days I should say actually so that way we can get our uh, field sprayed and everything like that um, let's just take a look here when does it say that grass can so it doesn't have anything for grass on here like most of the time it does so normally grass doesn't get, start getting cut until day three or day four or something like that of uh I usually, I think, I'm cutting it around day four of spring. Sometimes I'll wait until the first day of summer or second day, but the sooner that we get started on cutting, the better. So that way we can let it grow again in case we do need to do another cutting. But with as much land as we have for hay ground I don't foresee us needing to do a second cutting but it is it is hard to say I guess we'll see how many bales we can get off of uh, this one cut so Let's actually go ahead and do this. We'll bring this up. Let's quick save the game. And then we'll go ahead and set our time scale up. Fast forward, of course you are. So now we're on day three of spring, but we need to get to day four. Oh, and it didn't actually fill all the way up with fertilizer. That kind of sucks. And we need to get this switched over to soybeans. We're going to use this planter to put down soybeans. I believe this one does sunflowers too, right? No, it does not. So we will have to be getting our other planter out to plant our sunflowers. Which is okay. Um, and I have to look again here at what fields we are putting in soybeans. We had 50, 51, 52, and 56. Oops. So 50, 51, 52, 56. So the four fields on the north side of the road and then the three fields on the south side of the road are our sunflower fields. So in all honesty, we should be able to get all of our soybeans planted in maybe in one video. We'll see. I guess what happens. Now comes the fun part of waiting for these freaking cars. I don't feel like getting hit. And we're good. We're just gonna go ahead and jump across the road here. Get this guy unfolded. Oops, wrong button. I turned the planter on instead of unfolding it. That is my bad. We'll go ahead and shut our hazards off. Alright, we're going to go ahead and we're going to shut this guy down. tab to this guy because this is going to be the next tractor that we use 
as uh, we're gonna probably spray next so all right let's go ahead and do this this way we're gonna go ahead and set the day time to 11 o'clock and then we'll quick fast forward it here let it synchronize and then we'll get it to about eight nine o'clock uh, we can actually do that the same way that we just did this uh, where we just go in and set the day time because that will make it a lot easier and we can have it at the exact time that we want all right well that's gonna do it for today guys um, when we come back we'll go ahead and get started on spraying because I believe that we are going to need to get that done yeah we have some a little bit of weed action going on over there so we're gonna go ahead and get that taken care of tomorrow and uh, then see uh, where we go from there that's gonna do it for today guys if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel make sure to subscribe if you like what you see and turn on the post notifications to be notified as soon as I put out a video uh, make sure you check out down below in the description I got a link I have my uh, PC specs down there my social medias as well as our video schedule and links to other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at thanks for watching you guys and as always we'll see you tomorrow.